Today I'm going to go ahead and show you all the awesome settings that every Tesla owner must know about. So if you recently just picked up your new Tesla, either Model Y or the Model 3, the one in particular in this video is a Model Y 2021 performance that I recently just picked up and already added 2000 miles on it. So after spending numerous of hours fiddling through all the settings, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you could get your vehicle to automatically lock the doors as soon as you approach away from the vehicle as well as automatically fold its mirrors. Walk you through the easy entry setup where as soon as you take off your seatbelt, everything reclines, making it easier for you to walk out of the vehicle as well as sit in and so much more. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing first, let me show you how to set up the unlock feature. So once you have successfully connected your cell phone to the Tesla app, which you can do so if you just quickly launch the app, and just go into control section right here. We'll go through the walk-in process. It's really easy, it will only take a matter of seconds. But once you do that, once your phone is actually paired to your vehicle as a keyless device, you're pretty much all set to set up the walk away feature. So by hitting the icon over here, the car icon of your vehicle, and just go into locks. Here's where you find the activated phone. When you scroll down, this is where you see the walk away door function. So by having it enabled, now whenever you walk away from a vehicle, it will automatically lock. And you can add feedback to it as well. So if you scroll down, right down here, where it says lock confirmation sound, so with that enabled, it'll do like a soft honk, letting you know that the vehicle has successfully locked. Now, if you want your auto floating mirrors to also fold in, for that, you gotta go into the quick control, tap on mirrors, and just go ahead and enable mirror auto fold. And right here, now with that enabled, now when your vehicle is locked, the mirrors will automatically fold. In addition to that, you could also, if you go back into lock, you could hit the little exclude home. So now whenever you walk away, and you park your vehicle in the garage, your vehicle won't automatically lock in the garage. So this is a personal preference as well. But then below here, there also is the, the closed window unlocks. This way, if you leave your window slightly rolled down and the vehicle locks itself as you walk away, it makes sure all your windows are rolled up. And if there's an issue with one of the doors or the window's not closing, go ahead and also enable doors and windows. Car left open notifications. So the app itself will send you a push notification alerting you that a door or window remained open while your vehicle is locked. This is useful and nifty to have. Again, this is all personal preference, but that's how you set up walk away function. And quick tip, if you want your auto photo mirrors to always photo at a certain location, let's say for example, you have a very narrow garage entrance and you want the mirrors to automatically photo instead of you manually having to go here and photo the mirrors yourself, if you tap fold under the quick controls, there's a always fold mirror at this location option. Tap on it and now this location is now marked on a GPS. So whenever you drive by it, the mirrors will automatically fold in without you having to take the time and tap fold and just hit the X icon to remove that, that location. And there you have it. So the steering wheel of the Tesla Model Y and the three, although it doesn't seem like there's much, these arrow right here can also illuminate at night. On default, by default, it's disabled. If you want to go ahead and enable these once more, the vehicle icon, we're going to find ourselves here most of the time. Go ahead and tap on light. Scroll down where you see steering wheel light. Now, these arrows will illuminate while you're driving at night. And honestly, I like the look. It's not at all distracting. Another light that's disabled by default is your fog lamps. If you have the long range or even a premium, from my understanding, even the standard one, if you could get your hands on the standard Model Y, your fog lamps options right here, just go ahead and enable this, trust me. You have them, go ahead and utilize them. Now, on your phone, you could get a lot of notifications on your Tesla. This could be like a simple security alert in case somebody's trying to break in a notification letting you know the time when your vehicle started charging so you go look back upon and know how long your vehicle has been charging for and also a notification letting you know that your vehicle is fully charged for some reason it's turned off so if you want to go ahead and enable this this is what you got to do simply launch the tesla app on your mobile device tap the gear icon go on notifications here select what type of notifications you wish to receive so as an example i said the car alarm, go ahead and enable that. Charging started, charging interrupted, and charging complete notifications as well as software. And then of course, if you have a summon, 
you can also enable these other notifications as well. But you're not done yet. Once you select the notifications, make sure you select the vehicle. This is something you have to manually go ahead and enable. So if you have multiple vehicles, this is where you go ahead. Make sure to check mark the vehicle that you want to receive these notifications. And now you're good to go. Yeah, for some reason, by default, these notifications are turned off. Now, another crucial thing, yes, I know it's amazing that your smartphone basically is the vehicle's car remote. And with the walk setting, as I demonstrated, you don't even need to have your phone out to unlock the vehicle or launch the app. As long as the app is still running in the background, you're good to go. But still, I would highly recommend keeping the Tesla card on your wallet or on person as much as possible because there will be time where you're gonna be experiencing Bluetooth connectivity issues with the vehicle. So always carry your Tesla key as a backup or else you're gonna be stuck outside for a while. Maybe your phone died or maybe you lost your phone. Just carry a back backup, this way you're not stranded. Now this next one is a bit of an oddball, but I might as well share it with you guys. This third seat right here in the middle actually does have a headrest. So if you have a guest sitting back here, they actually have something to rest their head. I thought that was really interesting. You could adjust it pretty much any height. That's reasonable. Now, if you decide on changing the wheels on your vehicle on your Tesla, the wheel wasn't trying to do that. Yeah, that's just not close. <laughs> you can change the wheels of your Tesla. If you don't know how to do that, simply just tap the icon over here where your vehicle is at and go into services, wheel configuration. And here's where you can select between the other available Tesla wheel styles. So if you swap it with a different wheel, if you decide 21s is too much for you, or you swapped it with the induction, you can literally select it from here. Unfortunately, it does not support third party and you can just tap confirm. Also, I don't really highly recommend just swapping this, or like changing the wheels to the different styles, just to like change things up on your screen. Because by doing this, it does alter the estimate range. I'm just saying, if you're wondering how you could do that, you can. Now, Sentry Mode is a mode available for Model 3 and the Y. As long as they're on the latest software version update for Teslas, you have access to Sentry Mode by utilizing any of the USB ports that's available. In our case, ours is the latest Model Y. We Ours is located in the glove box. Same goes for the latest newest Model 3s. They're located right here. And to enable Sentry Mode, because by default it's turned off, you can just tap on Safety and Security. Scroll down where you see Sentry Mode. And this is where you go ahead and enable this. Of course, you have to reformat the USB drive that you put. But once you reformat it, you just need to go enable this. And then you could exclude home or work or other favorites. This way, sentry mode isn't always enabled. Constantly recording stuff. If your vehicle is, let's say, for example, is parked in a garage and you're walking by it, it's not going to record that and just waste battery. And of course, you also have dash cam functionality as well, where when you if you go ahead and enable this setting right here, which I recommend enabling, every time when you honk the horn, it's automatically going to save the past few minutes of that event to the SD card. And I also recommend putting a pin code on your glove box. This way, nobody has access to that important save file if your vehicle has the USB port available right there inside the glove box so it can be secure. And if you want to eject the flash drive inside the glove box, Instead of just simply pulling it off, always make sure you just press and hold the little dash cam icon or the sentry mode icon. Just keep holding it until the red icon goes away. When it goes away, now it's safe for you to eject the flash drive to prevent any like memory from getting corrupted or files or footage if you have to export the footage from that flash drive to safely eject it. So to safely eject it, just press and hold the dash cam icon until the red light goes away. And when you're ready to start recording again, just press and hold on the screen and then you're good to go. Another funny way you can enable sentry mode if we go ahead and turn it off. If you actually launch the Tesla virtual voice assistant and you say the sentence, keep summer safe, it will automatically enable sentry mode. It's just a little Rick and Morty Easter egg. Now, Tesla's honestly they have the best sounding audio system available in any vehicle in my personal opinion many others will also agree but if you're not satisfied with the eq settings you can always come in here and tune it to your liking and if you're on google there's a large community forum where people literally share their personal tunes online like people on reddit and such so if you're looking for popular tunes that people made online you can always just google it and there's gonna be a lot of them for all different type of genre of songs and now if you're curious how to set up easy entry which basically allows the vehicle to always retract and push 
the steering wheel away from your seating position. This way it's easier for your legs and yourself to get out of the vehicle easy as well as in the vehicle easy. That's why it's called easy entry. If you don't know how to set that up, simply tap up here where you find your profile and you'll be able to find an easy entry setting right here. Just tap on it where it says easy entry and just move your steering wheel to the position to your liking where it's far enough that it doesn't bump into your legs and move the seat back where you comfortably just sit back, relax and just in your Tesla while you're supercharging or something. Oh, and as an added bonus, by default, if you just got your Tesla, if you tap this icon, it'll bring up the backup camera. You can enable this on the highway or anywhere. It doesn't have to be in park or driving at a slow rate to enable your backup camera, which is nice. But if you scroll down, you'll also see the side cameras as well so you can actually view your blind spots and i guess another pro tip i should also mention is by tapping and holding the ac vent icon right here it's a quicker way to turn it on and off instead of having to bring up the entire screen this part and there you have it now you are a pro when it comes to really utilizing your tesla and getting your full money worth out of your amazing machine if you learned something new, greatly appreciate if you guys leave this video a like. Those help me out a lot. And why not get subscribed? I basically cover a lot of tech videos very similar to this. And yes, I have more Tesla content coming out soon. And while you're at it, if you haven't yet picked up your Tesla and you're looking for a referral code, be sure to use mine as you and I will both receive 1,000 miles of free supercharging. So if you can and you don't have a referral code to use, use mine. And I'll greatly appreciate if you can. If you'd like to see more Tesla stuff, Maybe go ahead and check out this video over here as I go through all the noticeable changes on my 2021 Model Y. And if you're curious to find out more about those, what those improvements are, you can go ahead and watch that video over there. And then the video right next to that one, that's just a video YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. See ya.